Okay, today we're going to set up an N300 controller to put in a customer's unit for him. We have his serial number and his parameters and his model number. So the first thing we're going to do is power it up, hit the up arrow button two times, that'll stop it at the display contrast screen. Now we're going to go down arrow one time to the serial number. We're going to hold the select enter button down until the number begins to flash. Once the number begins to flash, we're going to change it to the correct serial number for the unit we're sending it to. Now we have the serial number correct, so we're going to hit select enter and then down arrow to the model type. Now again, we have to hold the button down for approximately 30 seconds until the model type flashes. Now that we have the model type flashing, we're going to use the down arrow button, change that to a 7300, and we're going to select it. Now when we go down to the varometer calibration screen, it gives us the proper varometer calibration number for a 7300. It does this automatically. So if you choose 6300, 7300, or 8300, the correct number should be put here. Now we're going to go down to the main screen where it says start display and set. Okay, now that we have the correct serial number and model number set in the unit, we can reinstall the Sentry module. As soon as we install that, the light should come up on the display showing us that we have a good module. Now the light's popped up there on the corner. We have a good module, so we're ready to put our parameters in now. So from the main screen, we're going to set, select Set, Parameters, Flow, and set. Okay, the customer uses a half a pound per million, so we hit select enter, then use the down arrow to take it down to 0.5. Down arrow. Now, pump displacement is going to be 1.150 cc's a stroke. We'll go down arrow again. We're going to select our odorant density as 6.76. Select enter, down arrow. Maximum gas is going to be 1 million cubic foot per hour. And these first four are the key parameters. You have to have these in order to operate the system properly proportion to flow. Okay, at this point we're done, so we're going to back out. We always use the up arrow button to take us back to the main screen where it says start, display, and set. Now all of that's done, we're prepared to operate our system.